Hi there, happy Training Tuesday. My name is Kim Irwin. I'm an independent consultant with Arbonne International and I appreciate you being with me today. So I wanna tell you a little bit, a little story. When I was growing up, when my mom and dad were still alive, they started this um, wonderful routine of every year we would go to Lake Powell. We would go at least once, if not twice a year. And it was a blast. I mean, if you've ever been there, you're in a boat, you're on the water, it's hot, uh, big rocks, it's just warm. I loved it. And, and we would always have um, these sticks of cocoa butter. So my dad would get these at the pharmacy. He would have to get them there and they were always like kept in the refrigerator or something. And he would bring those to Lake Powell. Well, we would use those, <coughs> excuse me, as tanning, for tanning. So it would just melt, like, you know, they're in sticks and you just put it on here, it would just melt and it just gave you this beautiful golden tan, it smelled so good, it smells like, like chocolate. So I would also watch, and my dad had this big beard, and he would have the cocoa butter and he'd put it in his beard and his beard would start to turn blonde throughout the summer. And then I started putting it in my hair. So there are all these reasons that we were using these sticks of cocoa butter. Well, I, you know, I got to thinking, you know, I don't, I don't go to the pharmacy and buy cocoa butter sticks anymore, but I still want to have that moisturizing of my skin like I got back then. So I, I was like, I was looking, Arbonne has shea butter. And I thought, well, it's not cocoa butter, so what's the difference, right? So I decided to do a little bit of investigating for us and some research on it so I can tell you what the difference is and give you my opinion on what I think is best because everyone's entitled to my opinion. <laughs> anyway, so cocoa butter, where does it come from? It actually comes from the Theobroma cacao L tree and that's found in Central and South America. So it comes from this tree. It is, um, it consists basically of fatty acids, satur saturated fats. And those acids are oleic acid, palmitic, and steric acid. So those are the three that are in cocoa butter. Um, saturated fats, I, I told you already, it has this distinct smell. It just smells like chocolate and it doesn't melt at room temperature. Okay, so that's cocoa butter. And I've already told you like how we used it, you know, it just, it just really felt good on your skin, right? Soaked in. So what's shea butter? Shea butter actually comes from the African shea tree. And that tree is called Vitalaria Paradoxa. And I'm gonna call it the African shea tree. <laughs> um, and so they get kernels of the shea um, from the tree's fruit, and that's what contains these fats, these fatty acids, right? So they extract that and they make it into shea butter. So um, what does shea butter have in it? Mainly oleic and steric acids, just like cocoa butter, right? Um, palmitic acid is also in there. So those three are in the shea butter, but it also has another kind of acid called linoleic acid. So why is linoleic acid special and why does it make this probably better and a heck of a lot easier to use than a stick of cocoa butter? Well, in linoleic acid, what it is doing is it's moisturizing and plumping the skin. And it also is protecting and fortifying the barrier, your skin's barrier. So what is that helping protect you from? Um, harmful UV rays, it's also helping protect you from pollutants, um, you know, smoke, just dust, what, you know, everything that we encounter throughout the day that our skin encounters. So it also has significant levels of vitamins E and A. Now, what do we know about vitamins E and A? You guys should remember this from some of our prior trainings, but they have high antioxidant properties and that is part of the shea butter. So what are we looking at? We're looking at cocoa butter that is, it's good, right? Okay, it's got three of those saturated fatty acids in it, but shea butter has that and more, and it has more anti-aging properties in it. So if we wanna use something that, you know, it's, it's spring, it's summer, our skin is gonna get dry, we wanna keep it hydrated. How do we do that easily? We use something like this. And I mean, 
it's just, I told you it smells, it's got a nutty smell to it. And um, it just makes your skin really soft. And like it says, moisturizes it, plumps it. And so then you can go throughout your day knowing that you're doing good things to your skin, right? And instead of getting something that has all kinds of harmful chemicals and weird crap in it and fragrances and stuff like that, do this. This is natural. You know where it comes from now. You know why it's actually a better choice than cocoa butter. And Arbonne has it. And it's a lot easier than a stick. So there you go. Happy Training Tuesday. I appreciate you being with me. I'll talk to you next week.